Say, hey folks, uh, my name is Steve, and I'm here to show you my out the front switchblade collection. <clears throat> the one I got here is a uh, riveted bodied one, it is a military NATO. Uh, it's probably, I've heard sterling silver with plastic handles. But this one here is probably one of the older ones I have. It is marked stainless steel. Uh, very nice little blade. These have a tendency to suffer from blade play. But uh, other than that, they're they're kind of cool. I mean, I've got a bunch of them here to show you. This is the first one. Uh, like I said, this has got a riveted construction. You know, uh, this one's not that bad. It's kind of a nice little one. Uh, not sure how old this would be, but still cool. So there's number one. Let's see here. There we go. And here I got one that's made by Bell. And it's written on here. Oh Lord, let's see. Secret Secret Agent. <laughs> now this is a little bit cheesier. It's got a textured handle both sides. A little bit thinner, lighter. Uh, not riveted. This one here is a cast bodied one. And again, so it's from the same thing. But if you can get a closer look there, there you go. And like I said, this is made by Bell. Uh, I'm not sure how old this one is, but uh, again, cool. Uh, kind of flimsy, but uh, you know, these are the kind of things that I remember as a kid. You know, so that's that's why I collect them. And it is sharp. And there we go. Well, that's number two. These ones have to be a little bit newer because I don't remember them uh, around 1920, somewhere in there. But uh, this is the super automatic. <laughs> Whoa. I'm not sure which way that would be. It's got a stamp in the back here that says OK. So, well, it didn't. They mark it because it opened. <laughs> OK, it opened. Hey! But again, see, again marked stainless steel and rust free. Rust free is just stainless steel, you know, rust free. But uh, again, thinner, more square of a handle type feeling. <clears throat> but that's again cool, you know, can't go wrong with collecting these. This one's just a little bit tired. It's got uh, it's kind of a a spring to it. It just doesn't wiggle. It you pull it back and it actually snaps back to where it's supposed to be. Side by side play, really not there. This was not too bad. Kind of cool. And let's see. All right, I got another military NATO. Now this differs from this. Both of them are marked military NATO. You see, this was the first one I showed, and now you got this one. Uh, kind of a clinky spring in there, but you know, still it's kind of neat. Very little blade play on this one, though, man. That's what uh, kind of gets me. It's cool. You know, 
doesn't prove strong. It's a sharp knife. Uh, most of these, I think, were made for like maybe a stabbing instrument. Uh, if you used to, if you want to sharpen a pencil with it, or I don't know, cut paper, a box, uh, not really a rope, uh, string, small paracord. You know, yeah, then it'd work. Anyway, yeah, that's uh. It's not a bad little one there. Not a bad little one at all. Okay. Kind of something just a little bit different here. Here we got a, again another NATO military with different bolsters. There's no no pins. No pins. Uh, top tops are different here. Again, it's just plastic handles. And this one here is kind of cool. You know, I mean, these all have, like I said, they, a little bit of blade play on this one, not too much. But again, the, something that I have around and show off to your friends. You know, say, hey, check it out, look at that. <laughs> but yeah, they're still neat. Okay, you know, so much for this guy. He's marked, uh, again, he's marked stainless steel and rust-free. So, you know, where this comes from, I'm not sure. Probably, my guess is China, Taiwan, uh, overseas somewhere, you know. But, still cool. Uh, moving right along. I got this guy here. Now this one is made by the Edge Company. This company is still in production, but they no, I don't think they no longer sell automatic knives. <coughs> you know, and you figure about uh, I'm guessing 30 years now. And again, we got the Special Forces camouflage handle. This, I believe, was sold as a kit because you had to put together. I, I took it apart recently. You took the screw out. The top comes off. The insides slide out of the knife. And then, you know, you put the whole thing back together again. But, uh, see, now, okay. This suffers from a problem that if you ever get these and the blade doesn't... <laughs> Doesn't come all the way out. Well, you just simply got to pull the blade out until it snaps back into place. Uh, put it back on track, and then then go back in again. This is just a little bit touchy, but it still works. Oh, there we go. And let's see. Yeah, like I said, they're cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is a this is really a cool one. This was also made by Bell. And I remember when they first came out, it looks just like a pen. You know, I mean the only thing way you know this man was that see there's the button right there, the the slide. You know, I mean other than that, I mean it looks like a pen, you stick it in your pocket. But Ta-da! <laughs> and again, it's uh, stainless steel. It's marked Bell. You know, and kind of a nice color to it. And it does. It looks like one of those old-fashioned type of you know, old-fashioned pens that your grandfather probably carried around in his pocket. But still neat, and it works. So, really kind of cool. And here we go. I got another. Uh, this uh, was a Onyx. And again, I believe this one. I'm gonna open it up first. You can't see there. You uh, 
Now, per perfect way to show you right here. If your knife does that, just simply pull it. It clicks in place. See? And if that ever happens, you don't have to worry. Nothing's busted inside. You just didn't come out all the way. And again, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is made by the Edge Company. And again, probably uh, a kit at one time. And the screw at the bottom where you put put the guts in, then you had to put the little screw in to hold the guts in place, put the cap on, and it worked. And I'll do it again, see. Hmm. That works too. <laughs> okay. But there we go. Another neat little addition to my collection. Now uh, these aren't they're collector's pieces now. They run about forty bucks at the most. For I, I don't pay much for these, man. But uh, they're just really neat for me to collect. I like them. Okay, so much for that guy. Here's an older one. Um, You know, uh, this is aluminum, plastic, actually has screws instead of uh, pins, and <laughs> this is marked, uh, if I remember right, Colorado Sprint. I'm not sure if you can see that there. And on the tang. It says Inox, which I believe again is just stainless steel. Now, but this is one of my older ones, the 50s, I'm guessing. And that's still kind of cool, you know. These are all neat, but can you hear that rattle? This guy's been around for a while. Uh, you can see that just, whoa. <laughs> Now, another thing that a lot of people say, like, you can't stick anything with these. Well, you know, if you're going to do anything like that, you got to hold your, your thumb against the button. This will hold the, the slide forward and against the cam that keeps this in the open position. Because if you don't and you just push on it, it simply slips past the, the cam, pushes the rocker back, and the blade, of course, might just goes right back in the handle. No, but still neat. I like it. You know, again, under 40 bucks. Neat way to start a collection. You know, so I really like this one. This guy's really cool. Uh, going to some copies here. I'm going to get a few of them over here. This one was marked Lightning. Uh, but careful if you get grease in your hands, the stickers, the, the whatever the hell logos come right off. But this one, this one's heavy. It's all aluminum. I don't know if it's aluminum or not. It's heavy. But it's kind of cool. It's dagger blade, you know. Uh, really slick movement. There's, I mean, there's. This is just way too easy to open. Uh, this one is also marked. Oh wait, no, this one is not marked. So I'm not sure if that's a stainless blade or not. But still, very very cool. You know, they're fun to mess with. You know, especially if you got friends that come over. You know, and they never seen something like this. Especially like, oh, well, if you notice behind me, my collection. Uh, people come and go like, wow, where did you get those? Well, it took me about nine years to put all this together, and I'm still collecting knives. As a matter of fact, this box behind me is full of knives. Uh, but anyway, you know, this this is another little cool one here. Uh, 40 bucks, you can't go wrong. I mean, I never had a problem with this one whatsoever. And like I said, they're just kind of neat. Now this guy is a stickler. It's got the button on the side instead of on the front, like you know. I think it's on the side of the knife. 
and it's kind of cool. I mean, I like the, the look of the blade, and I believe it's. Uh, let's see again. This one's not marked, but still, all in all, if you just take a good look at that, that's not a bad looking little blade. And again, you know. They're fun. Anyway, nothing to it. It's not really fancy. Uh, two hand cast his man with the mechanism in the middle and the blade. <laughs> okay, guys. Going on to this guy here. This was uh, this known as the Tomb Raider. That's really got a square look. I mean, all the way around is just square. <laughs> but this actually has just a little bit of play in it. And very, very got point on it. Uh, it is very sharp. And, you know, that's a pretty impressive little piece. I just think it's cool as hell. I like these things. Uh, there are expensive ones. The pricey is all get out. I don't get into those, man, because, like I said, I just like collecting them. And well, I guess if you got the money and you really, really want to get into some of the higher tech ones, you know, I mean, they are out there. I've seen some really cool ones, man, that uh, you can actually like puncture through cardboard. There's one that's I won't forget the name, but it's a Russian one that you can actually, it fires from the handle and will stick in wood. Uh, there's ones made that, uh, you know, you pop the blade out because that was so strong, you got to grab the back to pull it back in. Uh, there's all kinds of these things, but uh, I just collect what I remember. And I remember this one real well. <laughs> Uh, this one here is called the Lightning. Again, it's uh, one with the button on the side instead of on the handle. You know, I mean, it's right, right down the side. Now, that's kind of a cool little blade. Uh, this one man actually can be used for, you know, almost everyday use. It's not, none of these can be used for heavy duty stuff. Uh, light duty. Uh, right down to like opening a letter, you know, but still, uh, like I said, they're cool. They're just, they get that cool factor going for them. And, you know, I mean, just that sound alone is like, whoa. So, yeah. Again, nothing fancy about this guy. I mean, just, just a cool little knife. You know, neat. Now, like I say, he's marked lightning. Let's see if I get that in there. One of the few that actually have a name to it. But, again, cool. There's a totally different specimen. Uh, this this is a uh, cheap copy, but uh, basically the same kind of uh, kind of like what the Joker used in the movie, you know, with the Batman, uh, the Dark Knight, you know. Okay, this guy right there. Now this is a uh, only a, a one way. Whoop! See. Never get your fingers in the way. <laughs> but, hmm. My jackass. <laughs> there we go. See, it came out, and what you gotta do is you press the button here, the little tab, pull it down, and it locks in place. So, see, this is a, only a one way. Uh, you think that'd be strong enough to go through something? It's not. It, you, know, you go to a cardboard box, it'll stop halfway in its track. It's just, again, 
the cool factor, you know. But that's uh, that kind of looks like the one the Joker used in his movie. I remember. Still neat. And like I said, you just gotta press the button, pull that down, and. I do have two nicer ones. I'll show you this one here first. Uh, this is the, I believe it's called the Titan. Titan 3. I'm not quite sure. Don't, don't take me on this. But this is actually a very nice knife. It's got a, tech, a very good textured handle. I mean, this is all very, very nice. It has a skull crusher on the back. You know, it is a side button. Again, not on the handle, it's on the side. And it's got a black Teflon blade. Blood groove with the holes. You know, uh, this one is sharp as hell. <laughs> You know, just that that noise, man, that, that click just that'll get your attention. You know. And that's kind of a cool one I got. Uh like it very much. And again, under forty bucks. Well actually this one's about forty five, so yeah, I'll throw out five bucks. But yeah. Neat. And here's the most expensive one I got. <coughs> this is the Black Finger 777. And this is actually a light knife. Very robust. This is the fattest, biggest, I mean, heftiest one I got. And that was really impressive, don't you think? Was my fault actually. It's got black, black oxidized uh, dagger blade. You know, um, very cool. I'm left-handed, so I'm just gonna flip them around every now and then. I don't mess around with this one too much, but this is one of the better ones I've got. Yeah, if you can take a look there, let's see, there you go. I don't know if you all can read that or not. But yeah, they're neat. Anyway, that's my out the front collection. If, if you're wondering how these things are put together, Maybe I can take this one off real quick. Uh, the the handles are are snap on. They're not they're not riveted. They're not you know torn in or uh, torn in. <laughs> they're not screwed in. But hey, anyway, this gives you an idea what the inside of it looks like. Let's see, so when you when you push your button forward, this whole mechanism here moves forward, release, locking one cam and releasing the other cam. So this is the cam that holds the blade locked. Push it forward. It releases that cam. And this one here goes forward and catches the blade in the open position. So it's like release, catch, catch, release, the type of thing. Just it this moves right back and forth. I'm not sure if I can do this, so put the button back on. Try maybe I'll try to show you here. Okay. I'm gonna put forward. See how that worked? Then here I'm gonna hold on to it tight again. There we go. <laughs> kind of hard to show, but that's how it works. 
you know, and like again, they're nothing spectacular. They just got that cool factor going for them. Uh, I've done, I've collected these for years, and nothing else can say is I like them. Uh, again, there's a lot of good ones, a lot, a lot of more expensive ones out there, but I just collect what I like. I like this. Thanks, folks. I will catch you in my next video, which will be...